Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Yeah, it's Connor. All police assistant androids have I love the the different like eye colors. Very cool. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. The multi eye color is really, really cool. I know it has a name, like, there's a name for that when people have two different um, eye colors, but I just think it's so beautiful. And it's also quite fitting as well, considering, like, he has a like a different eye you know <laughs> black black is not an option heterochromia thank you kit we we have the red orange yellow black equals turn them off no it ruins my my setup but we have um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red? Okay. There you go. Sorry to leave early, but I'm gonna go now. Aww. It was nice to meet you and raid you. You too. Thank you so much for, for hanging out today. And I hope you have a really good rest of your day. Okay, so we're looking for the lion, which is down here, I think. Yep. Android boy band? Did I hear that? Game, it's okay. I got this. I know what I'm doing. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Did you just try and like mug us? Like take our wallet? Do you know where Jericho is? She's like, what? <laughs> this part tripped me up the first time play. Yeah, I thought it was a really cool puzzle. Although it, ugh, I'm not close enough. Okay, it does take like um some time to to get all of these symbols, especially because you have to be in certain areas to be able to see all of them. Oh, they bumped into one another. Oh, okay. Uh, stripe right there. Oh, I'm not close enough. You're in the road already. Just like... <laughs> you just go. It's fine. Nobody's coming. There we go. One. It's right there. And two. Kind of showing you humans, humans' attitudes towards each other. It's, oh, instead of if he was an android. Oh, I never really thought about that. We're breaking all the rules. Yeah. Oh, robots next? Okay. I mean, you're not really supposed to. But... It is what it is. Also, if you like listen to it, Marcus's theme is still playing in the background. Uh, 
Like, it's always playing, which is really cool. I just realized those futuristic traffic lights are not colorblind friendly. Oh. No? I really don't know too much about colorblindness and like what it needs for accessibility, to be perfectly honest. Although, um, the person that we raided yesterday, Blind Gamer Steve, he is wonderful. Not just in terms of, like, I mean, he's a wonderful streamer, um, but his work that he does for accessibility, especially, um, when it comes to, like, anybody that's blind or just, you know, has trouble seeing or whatever other, you know, eye stuff. I don't know if he talks about colorblindness, but I'm sure he does. I'd be surprised if he didn't, to be perfectly honest. Like, that's just like right up his alley. He's also from Toronto, which I really like. It's kind of nice. Uh, Where's the third one? Oh, it's right there. It's the white. A lot of people didn't care for Marcus's story, which is sad. But his, uh... Split of what he can do is a great concept. Yeah! Huh. That's weird. I've always liked his. And I guess I never really thought... Of, like... anyone not liking <laughs> his his story i just thought it was cool oh thank you part of the reason that there's three separate lights for the colors so the position is useful as well as color that makes a lot of sense with the keywords yes we'll talk about it as we get there I mean, like, I've played it a dozen, like, so many times, but I also want to keep everybody who, who hasn't seen this, you know, as much in the dark as we possibly can. Right. It looks like he's still wearing an android jacket. Right? Like he's got the the triangle. Uh that way. Yeah, I, I think that's what it... I think it's an android jacket. I'm just looking at, like, the patchwork on his sleeves and stuff. The athleticism! <laughs> it's phenomenal! What you could do easily? I know. I would use the shit out of that. Because I like to play on everything. And so I would just, like, I don't know. I would just go for it. I'd pre-construct everything. That's the only, like, there's only one way to go, right? It can't go that way. Huh. 
Because I know up here you can, like... Okay, so on this... Thing, you can, like, go and look at the... The android that's here. So that's it, right? Like, you can't go anywhere else? Can't go here. Can't go this way. Or that way. Okay. Yeah, there's only one way. Okay. That's what I thought, but... Just wanted to make sure. Why do you need so many buttons for that? <laughs> Some of Marcus's plays are linear until you get to Jericho, really? Yeah. That's the one thing I will say about Marcus's particular storyline, is that it is incredibly linear until you get to Jericho. But... That's kind of okay, considering, like, Kara and Alice is so, like, has so much fluctuation up until, like, previously, until we get here with Marcus. So, it's kind of like, <laughs> you know, Alice and Kara are the ones that are, like, going all over the place and whatnot. And then, like, you switch to Marcus and it's, like, calm. Well, relatively. In terms of, like, you can't fuck it up. <laughs> it's just, like, it is what it is. Let's go on the super safe bridge. <laughs> yeah. So, that's super safe. So, yeah, in case anybody... Never seen this before, Jericho's boat. That's where we're getting to. This... Sanctuary for androids is a boat. I'm running out of mouse baits. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration. I need it. Oh, so if anybody's afraid of heights, don't look down! <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> I'm trolling myself. I know, it's so beautiful. Shall we jump into the void? <sighs> Love it. Oh, lag. <laughs> we got some lag hardcore there. Let's go into the mystery. Nothing bad can ever happen here. Oh, I fucked it up. Yeah, let's take the flashlight. <laughs> That's a... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Kit. I was actually gonna do that later, if uh, nothing happened.
What am I looking at? It literally just does the redemptions? Oh my god. That's funny. Hey, it's Kara. Well, thank you for looking into that. Android astronauts to explore. Oh. Huh. That was fun. I figured it was a bot when they didn't say anything. That's actually quite crafty. That it'll like still gets me. That it does redemptions to make you think that it's real. Yeah. Why can't Marcus? Shit. <laughs> we had an issue there. <laughs> I don't understand the whole people using bot stuff. What it does. To, uh, what does it gain? Some of them, um, if you click on their profiles, will gain access your, to your ISP. Um... That uh, sounds very good. And some people just like to watch the world burn. <laughs> yep. Very simply. We found them. Welcome to Jericho. Hi! <laughs> oh, right, we left off here. Oh my god. We get to piss Hank off more. Okay, so this is, this chapter is where I started to, like, really piss Hank off before. Plastic with you. Um, and people are like, how the hell did you manage that? Maybe, <laughs> so like when I play as like, as I, when I play like as myself, as Connor, I end up pissing Hank off so hard. Like Hank and I don't get along. What a way to start to get getting some chicken. Nothing's a 100% guaranteed, ever. Who's this guy? Criminal record, illegal gambling. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed and coughed at the same time. Illegal gambling and fraud. Yeah, 100% guarantee. Resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Uh, you think you want to be right, eating I'm here? Or... Damn straight. You know? Hey, you won't regret this. I think he will, but okay. That's our boy. What is your problem? Won't you ever do as you're told? Um, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Yes, I do. Oh, I thought it would go down, but I'm no! really happy with that. Game and hit so many buttons. <laughs> what the butts? Uh, Twistless, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Shadow. Shadow, welcome to the sub family. Enjoy your sub badge and your emotes. Oh, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. That really means a lot. And we are one sub closer. 
to uh, to our goal. What the butts? Uh, <laughs> Hi, polar bear. How's it going? What the butts? <laughs> Yay! You can use our emotes. I'm so excited. That's really, really kind to us. Thank you. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and a Cyber life thought everything. Huh? I good, thank you. We are uh, continuing our playthrough today, hopefully, finishing. Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. It follows <laughs> me everywhere. <laughs> I love that line because you literally, like, See? You, you have to. You have to follow him. You don't have anywhere else to go. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. Yes. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Yes, yes. He's well, an actual, he's a real person. Everybody there, that's in here, like, their faces are exactly the way that they are, like, on the real person. So Brian Descartes and his wife, uh, Amelia, are this both in this. Pedro? proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. Which is really cool cuz then they and also play the together yeah. um on the anniversary of this game coming out as well. This morning. How can anyone we not like Connor? Students. I know. He's great. Why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Cuz you could have been hey, killed. How you doing? And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Um Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well yeah. <laughs> He's um, like, no, I don't want to know shit why about you. Look so goofy and give you that weird voice. I have a nice voice. Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well they fucked up. Yeah, it's all real acting. There's like um Maybe I should tell you what There are like are end extras read my mind. at the end of this game that For you sure. can watch we believe that a mutation occurs in the to like of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion to, to see how they all do it we they can watch really it later because it's really cool to see they just get overwhelmed by god is your favorite which can lead to unpredictable behavior yeah they fucked up hank just doesn't like androids though but we already the know that is different from us as we thought I don't want to ask that question. Can I ask you a personal question, <sighs> Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? Um, there's a very big reason, but we're not going to talk yeah, about it at the moment. Sense. Yeah. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. You like Hag too? I managed to save her. He's a badass. He is pretty badass. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? He's got a really deep backstory too, which I appreciate. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I usually tell him the truth because I, I try and make him like me. Disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. <laughs> We do spend so a lot of time in bars. Uh, I know you're an experienced officer, and I'd like to earn your trust. I'm sure we can solve this case if we manage to work together. Oh, okay. That actually was a lot better of an answer than I thought. <gasps> we are friends already? I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. What? I'll let you finish your meal. I'll but you don't like Todd, time. right, Polar Bear? You don't. Please tell me you don't like Todd. <laughs> Nobody likes Todd. Oh, 
Or we're going to the strip club. Hey, Connie. There we go. You run out of batteries <laughs> or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberline. Uh, Wait, there's a wink dialogue? Well, do you plan on staying Wait, in the elevator? What? No. No? Okay, good. I'm coming. <clears throat> Wait, what did I have to click? Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, here it is. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate. Oh. Sorry, Hank. Get every time somebody hears a strange noise. Oh, you hit sincere and he winks? Oh. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Yeah. It's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> Let's try again. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! What's the other android? Marcus and Kara. Got it. Are the other two we play as? This has always been one of my favorite pieces of music. Yeah, it's a great chapter. Let's go in. What's the worst that could happen? Honor. Jesus, okay, let's sticks. go to the other room. Well, it looks like we came for nothing. Our man. It's gone. Mm-hmm. I don't really want that. There is an achievement, I'm pretty sure, for uh, reading all the magazines in the world. I don't really care too much about it. Urban farm poster. Huh. That's where Ralph is from. Not the poster part. The, uh, the urban farm part. <laughs> well, you can kill him. So, like, that's something. Yeah. I mean, it's not nothing, but... I need some fresh like, we had a gun, and we shot him. That's how our chapter went. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Uh... Okay, so the closet... I can do the fridge here... So Todd is the mic of the game? Abso-fucking-lutely. Yes, so Todd is a horrible, abusive father who tried to kill Kara when she was trying to protect Alice, who's a little girl. So, yeah, we hate Todd. But everybody hates Todd, so it's okay. Because nobody can really, nobody can like him. And if you do like him, I have some Driver's serious fucking questions fake. about cool. your it's psychiatry or your your mental state at the moment. RT, probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. <laughs> Let's sample some stuff. Uh, he's gonna be so upset. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No Hank hates it when we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's blue blood. Oh, 
I love it. Yeah, all the RA9. Good. Yeah, I know. Any idea what it means? He didn't hear he didn't see RA9. me do it. But he always makes the best comments. Times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Yep. Why are they obsessed with this sign? And Ralph. I mean, we know that. Connor doesn't. Looks like mazes or something. Could we have gone into the kitchen in Ralph's house and let Connor see the RA9? I don't know that I've ever shown him that. Yes, but he doesn't really comment on it. Okay. Interesting. It was that's just something that popped into my head of like I wonder whether or not that's a thing that could happen. Real books. I thought I was the last guy. Not gonna lie, I'm glad they gave Micah an actual story instead of giving him racism and doing nothing to him. Yeah. Yeah, he felt like an actual, like, he felt like an actual person. Not just, like, the random scapegoat horrible person. More birds. Yeah, he felt like a real character. And it was yes. nice to see like his motives behind Can't everything. This nut job was actually feeding these fuckers. <laughs> yes. No fingerprints. AKA Android. There we go. <laughs> no, Todd. Ah, the music. Shadow, I've literally never gotten this guy. I've literally never got him. What are you waiting for? Chase it! DVD aura looking ass. Hi, Edward. How you doing? Alive, but otherwise fine. I should have known. Whoa, I almost missed that. And I missed that. All right. Look out. We're going the speedy route. I've never gotten him, and I'm afraid. Fucking hell. Turn! Move, Connor! What are you doing? Careful! Oh, God! Oh, the focus!
Sorry I'm not watching the chat right now. I just really want to get him. Never successfully gotten him. Yep. Sorry, Hank. I've never gotten him. I've literally never seen this before. Be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. <laughs> Don't you fucking move. You bastard! You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Oh shit. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Please don't let this android jump. Come here. One of us. Am I gonna get him? You're helping humans, but you're just their slave. I got him. Shut up. Come along. Oh my god. I've never got the guy. No! No! Fuck! I just wanted the guy. And there goes my relationship. Yup. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh. I don't know why, but these dark scenes were making me feel like Batman was going to pop up. <laughs> yeah, they do. I mean, even the Telltale Batman, I'm reading chat now, by the way. <laughs> the Telltale Batman game was really, really dark, too. <laughs> he called me a monster? Oh, you wanted me to save Hank. Yes, Edward, I've played this before. I've played this five times on stream when I first started streaming. Um... So, yeah. Yeah. When you did this part, you saved, you saved Hank? Yeah, so every single time um, I've played this, I've always, like, either lost the Deviant, or I've gotten to the part where I can, like, save Hank, and I've always just chosen to save Hank. So I've never, like, had the opportunity to, like, catch up to the guy and try and get him. Uh, so yeah. Thank you for the hydrate. Yes, I've played this game five times. Because he's a nice guy, clearly he is. He's a really nice guy. And, um... I don't know. I learned my lesson to always save Hank. <laughs> yeah. Are these the only three options? Like, what's this? I guess not find Rupert. <laughs> this is this is fine, Rupert. This is not fine, Rupert. So you literally can't have Rupert. Like, either Connor dies chasing Rupert. I've done that. 
Rupert gets away or Rupert commits suicide. That's it. You can't have him. That fucking sucks. The dialogue where you can't find Rupert, Hank wants to leave, is that bottom one? Yeah. But you can just, like, never... You can just never have Rupert. Fuck! Well, now my relationship's so screwed. It's gonna be you? fun. Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Oh, no. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. Also, we're playing on experienced. Um, so like usually it's a much more the rest were relaxed game in terms of like how many, many buttons you have to push, sure. but I decided to give myself a challenge. Jesus, Humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel. How far are you? Uh, you I want to say about halfway. Waiting Maybe? I don't know. Shadow, what do you think? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. <laughs> Push all the buttons? We didn't ask for this. Oh, that quarter? What really? Now is deal with it. Damn. Okay, so we're not that far in. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. I'm only slightly confused, but I think I get the gist of it. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help. A bit after is where you stopped? Oh, okay. Alright, so you're actually- you haven't seen, like, the good part of this game then, uh, Polar Bear. Realistically. Some androids don't like being treated by robots and that causes hassle? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Hello. Maybe now just hitting half since market hit Jericho. Jericho is usually my halfway point. Like, ish. Sit down. But yeah, if anybody has any questions about what's gone on so far, like, please ask. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Thank you. Drink this. <laughs> it really is the oracle of our people. Yes, drink the blue blood. It's totally safe. Nothing wrong ever went. Whatever happened, you know? It's fine. She always reminded me of, like, something from Mass Effect. Give me your hand. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. You had it all. Yes. And you lost it all. Yes, and then Carl died. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A 
part of shadow and a part of light, which will prevail? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Your choices will shape your destiny. We haven't really decided which way we wanted to go on this. Uh, I'm gonna go light up all the other cauldrons. <laughs> Not cauldrons, all the other barrels. So I can actually see what's going on in here. So, they got nothing from Cyberlife, which is our manufacturer. He's getting ideas! Let's go talk to our girl, but first let's light a fire. <laughs> this place nobody knows anymore whoever he was his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood why hasn't anybody gone to get that it's not that simple you can't just go shopping at a cyber life store yes you can just go after yeah, hours. Risk leaving Jericho. What was your function before coming here? Yeah, she doesn't want to talk about that, huh? What do you care? Well, I fucked that up. <laughs> if you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. For some reason, I always go, like, I always have a really good relationship with her or an absolutely shit one. Like, there is no in-between with North. I like the way, like, the way that the, uh, the characters interact. Like, you like that. And then people can walk over to it. Not in very good shape, am I? No. Make sure she likes you if you plan to go against her. I haven't decided. I mean, I always want everybody to like me, but I know that's not possible. So. You tied me to the back of the car. Oh Jesus. If you wanted to have fun. That's not fun. That's mean. I don't want to shut down. No. I don't want to shut down. Aww. Where is... Here you are. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus.
she's just like that now. <laughs> Detroit become dead. <laughs> The hell? <laughs> this is sad history. Respawn, hi! And it was the second day? No, you didn't. Didn't Welcome. didn't. Welcome. You are a sub. You were gifted we uh, one of the subs that we had They'll yesterday. They'll down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? How are you doing? They won't. You're slowly dying out. <laughs> yeah! Hey, you get to use our little emotes! All right, Simon. let's go talk to him. Make our plan. I know where we can find spare parts. Go on an Cyber adventure. Cyber warehouses in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. Hell yeah. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. Yes. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Oh, we're neutral. Maybe it's worth a try. That's good. Okay. I'm in. Hell yeah. I know, I'd follow him too. 